Good afternoon. Good to see everyone. Um, I, uh, I've uh, come to Afghanistan uh, today because it was important to me and important to President Biden to convey in person America's commitment to an enduring partnership with Afghanistan uh, and the Afghan people. As President Biden announced yesterday, uh, we're withdrawing our troops uh, by the 20th anniversary of 9-11. We've achieved the objective we set out uh, nearly 20 years ago. We never intended to have a permanent military presence here. The threat from al-Qaeda in Afghanistan is significantly degraded. Osama bin Laden has been brought to justice. After years of saying that we would leave militarily at some point, that time has come. But even when our troops come home, our partnership with Afghanistan will continue. Our security partnership will endure. There's strong bipartisan support uh, for that commitment to the Afghan security forces. We'll intensify our diplomacy uh, with the government of Afghanistan, the Taliban, countries in the region and around the world that have a stake in Afghanistan's future. We'll stand with the Afghan people, including through economic investment and development assistance as they work toward a more prosperous future. We'll continue to support civil society and to advocate for equal rights for women, including their meaningful participation in the ongoing negotiations and their equal representation throughout society. We'll maintain the American tradition of providing humanitarian assistance for those most in need, including women, girls, and refugees. I shared that message uh, in all my meetings today with President Ghani, with Chairman Abdullah, with representatives from civil society who are working for change every single day in their communities throughout the country. The United States will remain Afghanistan's steadfast partner. We want the Afghan people, countries in the region, and the international community to know that fact. It's also a very important message for the Taliban to hear. Uh, as I think you know, I just came from, from Brussels. Uh, we consulted there with uh, all of our NATO allies. And the message that I heard from them was strong and clear. Uh, they're proud of what we've done together over the past 20 years, and they're equally committed to continuing the partnership with Afghanistan. Um, for all of us, it's been a, a long journey to this moment. There is a great deal of work and planning to do in the months ahead to ensure that the withdrawal is responsible, deliberate, and safe. But that work is going to be matched by our enduring support for Afghanistan, economically, diplomatically, politically. I do want to say that as we proceed, we will remember the extraordinary courage, strength, and sacrifice uh, of our troops who have served in Afghanistan for the past two decades. Uh, at its height, the uh, International Security Assistance Force had troops from 50 NATO countries and partner nations. Today, Resolute Support has troops from about 35 uh, allies and partners. These service members uh, risked their lives, uh, thousands gave their lives, uh, and we've succeeded in achieving the objective we set out to achieve because of their service, because of their sacrifice, and now uh, we are embarking on a new chapter in our work here and in our partnership with the Afghan people. Thank you and happy to take some questions. Hey guys, did you know we have a podcast called WJ Live? The Western Journal's mission is to equip readers with the truth, and that's the same mission we have on WJ Live. You'll hear from writers, editors, and special guests on the most important topics of the day. You can catch us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern and 2 p.m. Pacific, right here at youtube.com backslash WJ Live. While you're there, help us out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss any future episodes. See you there.